once we moved to Tennessee, I'm, I really started feeling like at home. I am an American now. This is the little village where my whole family is from. I moved back to Italy because my dad passed away and I decided to come back to take care of the family business, which is a bed and breakfast. This is Vanessa. This is Gigio. They are the innkeepers of the B&B. It's a beautiful valley. I can see mountains right now looking out my window. We live off tourism. So you may have heard that we're dealing with a coronavirus outbreak, a nationwide lockdown pretty much. I personally don't know anybody who is sick. In my region, there are about 200 cases of coronavirus. I think about 20 are in ICU and two people have died recently in just the last uh, week before we've had no deaths. You know, we have some excellent hospital, especially Lombardy. They have about 400 spots in ICU and they're currently all taken up. I think this is a matter of just sheer numbers. So it doesn't matter how good your hospitals are, how good your doctors are. It's just going to be a matter of pure just size. And I think at this point, Italians are determined to, to keep that number down. You know, I don't want somebody to be turned away from ICU. I don't want that on me. I don't want that to be because I was careless and I just went around and, you know, socialized with people. I can live without that for a month. Two months, you know, whatever, whatever that timeline is going to be. So we're not really supposed to leave our home unless we have to go to work, unless we have to go get some food uh, or go to the pharmacy or go to a doctor. The serious lockdown went into effect because a lot of people were not taking this seriously. We're still gathering. And that's the biggest problem is that when people gather, then contagion can happen. There are roadblocks. And when police stops you, you're supposed to give them um, an affidavit that you're out for a valid reason. A lot of people have been asking, but can I not go visit my grandma? Can I go visit my girlfriend? And the answer is no. The point of this is to prevent human contact and therefore, you know, the spread of the virus. It's just better if for a couple of weeks, we just don't do those things. There's other ways of keeping in touch with people. Video calls, you can chat. You know, you can go out to restaurants because restaurants are closed. Bars are closed, bistros are closed, you know, shops. Any store that doesn't sell something necessary is not allowed to be open. Malls are closed during the weekend. And of course, you know, schools are closed. Uh, kids are being sent homework to do. You know, of course, you're allowed to go out for a walk as long as you are within your, your city limits. And walking around town, I've seen a lot of uh, posters uh, hung from balconies. Uh, basically, teachers have asked uh, their, uh, their students to draw these rainbows with clouds. And on it, it says everything is going to be all right. Uh, so it's been nice, even though you're walking around a town that is deserted, it seems like, you know, the apocalypse has come and it has wiped everybody out. But as you walk through, you see all these rainbows. I think it's a, I think it's a neat way to, to stay focused on the positive and for it to be a teachable moment for, for children for the next generation. I know a lot of people have been doing a big spring cleaning in their home. You know, I've been doing some decorating. My personal life at the moment is not really impacted because it's not peak season for me. So the B&B &B was going to be closed until Easter anyways. Come say hi. I imagine for somebody that is taking public transportation, living in a bigger city, I imagine they're seeing much, much bigger changes in their life. So as you guys in the States prepare to face uh, this virus, uh, what I can tell you from my experience here in Italy, after seeing the, the mistakes <laughs> you know, that we have made, definitely don't panic. Don't go to the store and buy everything they've got. Wash your hands in the correct way. Uh, try to limit your contact with people. Don't go on trips. Now it's not the time, you know, to, to go around. I know it's spring break. I know you've booked your, your flight, your vacation, but perhaps it's time to, to think twice about that. You know, maybe that can wait. Maybe you can have a bigger, better one, you know, next year, or maybe you can do something else this summer. Start planning a trip, you know, start looking forward to, you know, to when this, this whole thing will be over. Uh, I'd love to see some of you guys here. Uh, I know it's not a part of your, you know, dream Italy trip going up in some small little village up in the Alps, but all the people that have come visit me, a few from Sevier County, you know, some from the other parts of the States really do love it here. Uh, you know, life is, it's slower, it's uh, simpler, food tastes better. Uh, I have a fantastic B&B I can put you up in. You know, just consider that. From Tomazelli, it's all. Back to you, Jim.